testing usage of Blender 2.8 using um, Mac OS Catalina sidecar. So let's get started. So I just, I'm turning on Blender on the other screen. And as you can see, this is on my iPad and I still have mouse just in case if I get lost. I'm trying not to use the keyboard. So I'm dragging Blender into my iPad and enter full screen. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. I try not to use my keyboard and I'm actually holding my iPad uh, right now. Uh, I'm, I'm not lying because I can switch to the camera. See, I'm moving around and I'm gonna switch back to the sidecar. Okay, so I have Blender. Um, this would be better if I'm actually, I have keyboard, maybe like a wireless keyboard on my side so I can use the shortcut. But for now, let's just play around with this. So I'm using Apple Pencil and iPad Pro 2018. I'm still able to select objects, so that's good. And to move around, normally I'm using mouse shortcut or the touchpad. But for now, we can easily use um, this thing above. So there you go, that's how we can rotate or orbit around the object. And this one, if we want to zoom in, zoom out. And this one, if you want to pan, this one's to switch to the camera. <clears throat> and then this is switch between perspective and orthographic. So that's all good. Um, so yeah, I don't have keyboard and right click. So I still don't know how to do right click um, using the Apple Pencil. But let's try anyway. Let's try to do like painting. So this is I'm still I still have the box select, so that's good. If I want to do a texture painting, I can jump into the texture. It's uh, it's giving me purple because I don't have texture applied on the object, so I need to go to shading first. I'm trying to tap on the shading. Okay, now it's good. Here, um, I can still have a uh, control over the, the finger. I think I can use my finger to move around. If I can go to this area and then, okay. Now I'm trying to get to the base color. Actually, it's easier to do it on the right here on the properties panel. Click on this guy and then select the image texture. And then also create a new texture. I believe the default cube actually already have the UV, so we can start painting. So that's a good thing. So as you can see, I'm actually, I am actually painting using the Apple Pencil. And this is actually pretty fast and interactive. So that's good. That's good. I'm still kind of testing. This is still beta, by the way. Mac OS Catalina beta and the sidecar still sometimes have bugs. Blender might crash or the sidecar might crash. But other than that, this other than that is pretty solid performance. So I'm I, I'm not sure how to drag this. Maybe I can use two finger. Okay, cool. Now we can select color. This is actually quite fun. Quite fun to do. It feels a bit weird because I haven't actually used Wacom 100% with with Blender, Wacom tablet. Um, but now I'm doing it on the iPad, and it feels pretty cool, pretty solid. I'm kind of glad that Blender still being supported for Mac OS at this point. Before Apple switched to full metal, uh, metal, uh, so what do you call it? Shading language. For now, it's actually pretty good. Kind of wish 
Blender continue being supported on the Mac, but we will see. Okay, so texture painting is working, so that's good. Um, I can try to save this image, save as, put it on the desktop. Well, I can try typing it using the keyboard, slightly tricky. Keyboard is on the left. Texture. And then save image. Okay, that's actually working. Mm, I'm still in the Mac environment, so maybe I can try to turn this into augmented reality stuff. All right, let's do that. Um, let's go back to layout. I have my object selected, file, export, GLB, GLTF, pin texture. Okay, let's go to the desktop, create a new folder. Um, name it USDZ box and save it there. Okay, I, I should be actually using there's this swipe keyboard that thing that should work, it doesn't work with Blender. Anyway, export GLTF done. Now I'm doing it. Uh, I should. I can try to use Siri um, to open the terminal, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna cheat and use my mouse and switch on my. USDZ converter. Maybe I need to get out of this full screen. Bring my. Okay. Here, I believe I can use swipe. USDZ convert. Okay, let's try. Um, I'll be using proper typing and then drag and dropping our USDZ box. I don't know how to drag and drop between the screen, but yeah, I'm using mouse. So now we should have box. That's actually USDZ, and this is ready for. Um, I can airdrop it into my iPad. So airdrop, and I'm gonna choose my iPad. Put it in files. And now, boom, yep, that's the cube that we just create, created earlier. Yeah, so yeah, that's pretty interesting workflow, right? I'm still recording on the iPad, I think, yeah, all good. We have USDZ and we can even do something crazy like jump into Reality Composer, create a new project. And delete this box, delete this thing, and then place our import our box that we created earlier using Blender and make this a bit bigger. Maybe reset the position. Oh, actually, the P4 is incorrect. That's okay. That's okay. Reset everything. 
add gesture um, tap and flip and if we play it we have animation and tap and play sound let's try yeah happy chime is okay ah, it should actually make sound but yeah so this is how uh, we can kind of work in the future like in near in the near future uh, yeah, it does not detect the ground now it's does yeah so it's not really on the ground it's kind of halfway but you got the idea so we work from blender um, using the cut Mac OS Catalina sidecar and yeah uh, and this is actually something that can actually work much better for now but uh, it's a uh, it's very very interesting and I'm testing sculpting and I believe this was working before let me try using mouse yeah it's working because I don't have any subdivision so I only have the four corner but I can turn on maybe I can turn on dynamics where is that option for dynamic sculpting somewhere here that's somewhere that's not easy to find oh well that's for another time but we we managed to do that bit of texture painting UV uh, not UV editing modeling and then animations what interesting would maybe for 2d animations if you switch to 2d animations it's actually gonna give you a layout that works for animations i think blender just crashes on me but since i'm still here on the sidecar and i have blender back let me try file oops okay okay file new 2d animation don't crash okay nice i found that when using sidecar it's a good idea to enter full screen and you don't have all because it, the screen is really really small it's a good idea to go full screen so that you can start working just like that this is um blender 2d painting using the the advanced grease pencil and i found the the okay the the apple pencil strings etc it's actually working right but i like to turn it off sometimes and for quick animation i like it i like it like a to have like a pen you know so if you make a little ball like that you can see the onion skinning is working nicely. I'm, I'm just jumping around in the time frame. But now we can play back this random doodles. I should at some point create like a proper tutorial, like a Pepe, Pepe school of animations. Um, they are using Blender as well. And yeah, I think this is good. This is good. The, the Apple Pencil, of course, I'm only thinking one click i don't have right mouse button click or extra it's just one click and then because all the button everywhere is uh, actually ready for stylus i mean this thing for panning and this is for camera perspective because we are actually in 3d probably we don't want to do that when doing the 2d drawing but you can you can do that yeah still this is just random doodle still like i said the performance is really really good i can i can draw kind of a little bit detail this is my own typical drawing of character so yep this is almost almost real time and no lag i don't really detect any lag okay there's there's a bit of weird thing happening there
yeah but uh, overall it's actually pretty good we don't have uh, the hovering that you might found on the typical stylus but uh this is good so that's my cursive writing yep so again this is just a uh, me marking around i'm testing mac os catalina beta and the sidecar feature and this is still coming soon feature and i'm using blender 2.8 2.80 as a test test bed this is 2.80 release candidate 2 it's not even final yet but it's still it's fun to work this way all right Hopefully you enjoy this. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.